lesson, we're going to take a look at converting percents to fractions, and then we'll convert fractions to decimals. And we'll, we'll look at five different problems, and here are the directions. Convert the following percents into fractions and decimals. Number one, 21%. Two, 83%. Three, 70%. Four, 99 percent and last of all number five seven percent now if you want to pause the video write these down if you want to try them at home or wherever you are and then check as I go through them that would be great so here we go here's the first example number one 21 percent when you hear the word percent you can really break that down into two parts the two syllables really now if you got on the left we've got per and per means each or for every okay so we when you're talking about miles per hour you're really talking about how many miles you travel in each hour so here we go we've got per meaning each and on the other side we have cent and that means, well, you can really relate that to money. I mean, each cent is one hundredth of a dollar, and it takes one hundred cents to equal one dollar. So cent means one hundred. So if you break it apart literally, percent means each hundred, or out of a hundred. So let's apply that to 21%. Now, 21% means 21 out of a hundred. So if you'd like to move change that to a fraction, that would probably be the easiest route. Okay, so 21% equals, well, per cent means out of 100, so 21% means 21 out of 100. And then, if you say that fraction, 21 hundredths, if you listen carefully, 21 hundredths, you'll hear the decimal. So here's the decimal form of 21%. 21 hundredths. And if you think about that, 21 hundredths, and we know something about decimals, it looks like this. 21 hundredths. You've got two in the tenths place and one in the hundredths place. So there you go. Let's review. So we started off with 21%. And we realized that percent means each hundred. So 21% would be 21 out of every hundred. And then when you say that fraction, 21 hundredths, you actually hear the decimal. So it's 21 hundredths written as a decimal. Let's try another. 83%. Again, knowing that percent means out of 100, automatically you could say that your denominator is 100. How many as your numerator? Well 83 out of 100. It's really as simple as that. 83 out of every 100. And what would that be as a decimal? Well conveniently you say the fraction form and the decimal form the same way. So when you say the fraction 83 hundredths you could actually hear that decimal as well. And that's 83 hundredths in decimal form. So 83% means 83 out of 100 or 83 hundredths. 70%. This one's slightly different, but really not too much different. We've got 70% equals, hmm, percent meaning out of 100. Okay, so there's our denominator again, 100. And how many? Well, 70 out of 100. Well, that's con well, let's connect that to what we know. Oops, excuse me for that. All right, so if we're thinking 70 out of 100, you get like a 70% off sale. For every dollar, you would get 70% off, for 70 cents off for every dollar. So if you had that sale, that'd be quite a sale. Now, back to the decimal. Read that fraction. But you were thinking this too. 
it's 70 hundredths. And if you're thinking that, great, good for you. And it appears like this. You might think 70 hundredths would look like that. Well, there's another way you can do it. If you didn't have that zero at the end there, so let's kind of get rid of it. That would also be 7 tenths. So you can really, I mean, write it either way. It's the same value. 70 hundredths and 77 tenths would be exactly the same. So there you go. Now we have 99%. So 99% equals, well, here we go. Let's, were you thinking that? 100 as your denominator? If you were, you'd be exactly correct. So good for you. Now, 99% means 99 out of 100. And there you have your fraction. 99 hundredths is what that fraction looks like. And I heard this decimal value right here. 99 hundredths. Next up, 7%. Sometimes people get a little tripped up by the single digit percents. Let's take a look at it. Same meaning. I mean, we've got 7 out of 100. That's what 7% means. So we'll simply write it as 100 as our denominator and 7 as the numerator. We could read it like that, 7 out of 100. Or you could say 7 hundredths. And that's where you really have to listen carefully. 7 hundredths. Now, you know, considering what we know about place value, if you think about 7 hundredths, I did not hear any tenths. There was no value um, spoken for tenths. However, I did hear 7 hundredths. And that's exactly why you have to write it this way. There is 0 in the tenths place, and there are seven hundredths, and it must be written that way. So if you were thinking that, good for you. It goes from seven percent, seven out of hundred, or seven hundredths, and then we have seven hundredths at the decimal amount. And there you have it. That is a quick look at converting percents to fractions, to decimals. Thanks for checking out Mr. Marinick's EduBlog. We'll see you again next time.